How hot can a CPU get before damage? CPU Operating Temperature Zones There are three distinct temperature zones your processor can operate in. The processor temperature hazard zone is defined by temperatures above about 95 degrees Celsius. In this area, the processor overheats and has reached the point where the heat it generates will self-destruct. Continued mining in this area will cause severe and permanent damage. If your processor hits this area often, something is wrong. The good news is that most computers will not continue to operate in this area as they will take protective measures and stop working. This is called thermal shutdown and we will discuss it in more detail in the next section. The high CPU temperature zone indicates that the temperature has reached the point where performance begins to suffer. Your computer seems slow or slow to respond. Fans may be louder than usual as they work harder to cool the system. Sometimes, performing CPU intensive tasks like playing games, watching Blu-ray and DVDs, ripping and burning CDs, and sharing files can push your computer into this zone. While these temperatures affect performance, they're not high enough to harm your processor. This zone is defined by a temperature of about 80C to 95C. CPU Thermal Shutdown When a thermal shutdown happens, you'll know it. Generally, your computer shuts down unexpectedly. Depending on your computer, it's also possible that in the moments before shutting down, you'll get a pop-up or a screen notifying you that your processor temperature is too high and the computer will shut down. Thermal shutdowns are handled by your computer's BIOS, basic input or output system, which reads one or more sensors that measure your CPU's temperature. When the BIOS determines that the CPU has reached an unsafe temperature, it initiates a thermal shutdown sequence. Prevent heat damage, rescue software. If you are worried about your CPU overheating, there are many software applications that can be used to monitor the temperature. Some of the most popular are RealTemp, CoreTemp, HW Monitor, and NZXT S Cam. Generally speaking, anywhere up to 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit, is fine, but if the temperature is higher, then you can start to have problems. Your CPU and GPU will typically start throttling between 90 and 105 degrees Celsius, that's 194 to 221 degrees Fahrenheit, depending on the model.